Somebody ring the bell. My God, my God, my God, my God. On August 23, 2011, this year, uh, we saw the fulfillment of the prophecy of earthquake in Northeast America. And that New York should beware. But I've got some bad news. What we saw so far is only a full shock. What we saw so far is only a precursor. My God have mercy to what's coming. What's coming, my God, many foundations will come down. What's coming will bring such shaking that even the body of Christ will have to go to God. My God, my God. Somebody shout ring the bell. Somebody shout ring the bell. It's coming. God, a deadly earthquake uh, far stronger than what we have experienced is coming to America cannot miss these little things are not it yet a deadly earthquake is coming to USA and I'm ringing the bell I'm ringing the bell it's coming it's coming it's coming god of mercy take it america god of mercy take it northeast usa take it earthquake shall strike this country not only earthquake we haven't seen any flood yet the floods are coming and when they come they're going to take down buildings and God of mercy and God of mercy the floods are coming by God of mercy for God is God and God is sick and tired of being sick and tired of the evil of mankind Shh. And God of mercy and the fires are coming the fires are coming to the northeast. The states will experience it. The cities of America will experience such fires greater than the floods. Somebody shout ring the bell. Somebody shout ring the bell. The Lord also revealed Israel. Israel is on God's radar. I heard Israel and another word, but I forgot the other word. I believe in God to bring back that other word, but I heard Israel. And shortly after hearing Israel, the Lord allowed one of our prophets right here to send us a prophecy, not knowing that I've just heard Israel, Bishop. Within minutes, we received a prophecy about Israel. But Israel under attack, families in trouble, schools, the families under attack in Israel. Glory to God. So I saw the ring the bell. The Lord revealed two babies. Two babies. One is real and one is demonic. I'm still trying to understand all of it, but that demonic manifestation must be rebuked. In many ways, in demonology, babies seen in dreams mean demons. Uh, let me at least tell you that. They are the most innocent and most harmless looking, just like our demons are. Angel of light, you know. And, 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 and there is a situation with baby, baby and it looks normal. It will appear to be normal. But I see changing into different, uh, uh, different forms. And it must be rebuked. It must be bound. The blood must be plead. You got to plead the blood against it. Against every manifestation. Any baby dream you get right now for, the, for not too long. Just bang up. Cast it out. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say ring the bell. The Lord revealed China. 
China on God's radar. China. The judgment of God is upon China. The elements are about to turn on China because they have not turned on to the Lord. And they have involved themselves in persecuting the saints of God. And the judgment of God is there. The Lord revealed mud. Mud in New York. In the, in the Bell Parkway area, Sheepshead area, the Lord revealed mud. And that's another confirmation that the flood is not over. There's flood coming. There's flood coming. If it's not one way, it's coming another way. But there is fl such flood coming to America. Particularly to the northeast of America. And New York must beware. Much more flood. The Lord revealed bales of roofing material rolled up, rolled up. And someone saying, do not throw them away. It means after a period of relative dryness, much more flood will inundate much of the earth. And the USA will be hard hit. Somebody say, ring the bell. The Lord revealed the Middle East. I was led to a house. The prophetess spoke. Somewhere in the Middle East. Then I saw shippers and two women in a house discussing that things have become so hard since the war. These Middle Eastern countries that have been inundated by war, there's going to be a lot of financial economic collapse, particularly in these countries. It's going to be very bad. It's going to be very bad. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, ring the bell. Somebody shout, ring the bell. Hmm. And this one is getting a little more personal. But the Lord revealed a lady. Hmm. And the Lord is showing worms crawling on you up and down. Worms, worms crawling. And you've got to deal with it. Worms crawling represent demonic attack. It represents torment. It represents struggle. It represents situations that you don't want. You're trying your best. But there is corruption around you. Corruption in the circle. And it has got to be rebuked. Somebody say ring the bell. I hear the Lord saying there are some of you that as I make a way for you. You know sometimes all we are, if we fix something by the time we are finished, we make another problem. God said, as I make a way for you, you have got to clean up after you. In other words, as I give you a breakthrough, you have got to make sure that you don't create a problem. Last week, the Lord gave a revelation of, of um, be a champion during transition. Anybody remember that? And it sounds like a little, a little revelation, sounds like nothing. And we told you, if you leave in a job, go into another. Do not leave in a bad way, leave in a very good way. Still work well right down to the end. And just today, somebody came to me and said, Bishop, I heard that revelation. This was my last week of work. And it's as if the enemy wanted to do a thing on me. That like this last week, everything went wrong. They were asking me to do things they never asked me before. All kinds of a challenge. Then I remember that revelation. And I just went on and humbled myself. At like the end of the week, they gave me so much more money I never expect. Because they were blessed by my behavior. So much money. I had to use my own gas to do their work. And I was about to ask for it. And I remember the word. Be a champion in transition. I said, okay. And at the end, I got so much money. So much money more than the gas. So that's the way God work. Somebody shall ring the bell. The Lord revealed a vehicle mishap. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. It appears to be a minister. 
but not necessarily. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout, ring the bell. Somebody shout, ring the bell. I'm going to run down this one. The Lord is the Lord is saying in one day, in one day, there is going to be a major calamity upon America. In one day, there's going to be a major one day calamity upon this country because of our sins, because we won't turn, because of sorcery, because of divination, because of idolatry, because of sin. This is going to happen because of sodomy uh, and all kinds of immoral sin and whoredoms. Uh, in one day, I, I gotta speak it, I gotta speak it, I gotta speak it. The Lord of all, the USA will be decimated physically, looking like an underdeveloped country. The Lord reveal aspects of the European army right here in the USA. And that one can take some bearing. Hallelujah. Nobody don't believe. We can despise these things as much as we want. Glory to God. The Lord reveal for trodden highways in the US. Got to get it more specific right now. For children, there'll be no vehicles to take the people. They have to take the road with their feet. Hallelujah. The Lord revealed that they will control the cars by digital control. You can't go nowhere. Jesus. Jesus. The Lord revealed a very disorganized funeral I'm giving them. And then the Lord revealed an organized funeral. The Lord reveal mental illness against enemies, my God, of Christ. And enemies of God, my mental illness. This prophecy was spoken in 2009. And we just discovered just in the past month that, that, that Europe has 40% mental illness. Somebody shout ring the bell. Somebody shout ring the bell. The Lord revealed a, a Joshua or some Joshua's. The Lord is waiting on a Joshua to do something very unusual. <laughs> and, uh, the Lord is waiting on a Joshua to do something very unusual. Some major thing, some unusual move. God is speaking to a Joshua bishop. Glory to God. God, the Joshua, we got to go beyond our realm with all the good God has used us to do. God, my God, God told me this from 2009. This is a Joshua. Glory to God. That God is saying, don't be afraid. Glory to God. Do that thing. Do that crazy thing. If it don't work, we still have home. You still can come back home. But there's a Joshua. I see a Joshua doing a diagonal cut. Come on, a diagonal cut. Hallelujah. I see myself going through a door. Glory to God. And opening it in a normal way. And a Joshua just come over. I said, Mr. Brewer. And I peel. And cut it into Joshua. Jesus. Hallelujah. Go ahead and let God use you. My God of mercy. Somebody shout ring the bell. Somebody shout ring the bell. The Lord reveals God's revival will arrive safely. Come on, say amen. Get excited. Get excited. Get excited. Get excited. Get excited. Get excited. God's revival. Hallelujah, will arrive safely. God said to tell you that this is just the optimum place. But we are not at the maximum place yet. You're not getting me somebody. Where you are is just the optimum place. You don't put all your eyes here or you're going to miss your way. It's only optimum. Optimum is the best you can have right now. Come on somebody. But there's a maximum place. I deal any, any property owner. I dear any business owner, I dear any building owner would make your building available to this move of God. 
my God of mercy, my God of mercy, you're going to see the fulfillment, hallelujah, of the power and the fire and the prophecy of God on the earth like we've never seen before. I don't care where in New York you are. My God, you could be in the corners of Staten Island or Long Island or Queens. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. A peak skill. Come on, somebody. Are you with me, somebody? A Manhattan, a Bronx, a Brooklyn. Come on, somebody. God is ready for the maximum outfit. And the devil have a way to try to hold you in the optimum but some say maximum more than optimum some say maximum I can't hear you I can't hear you. my God of mercy I'm in trouble glory to God stand up everybody This last one will continue another time or so. As this revival blaze on the earth, hear what the Lord is saying, Bishop. Can you hear family man? You can understand me. No matter how it's big out there, you see me good. Cut the music right now for me. No matter how it's big out there, if the family not in order, it's not going to work. Amen. Amen. I'm going to say it again. Amen. As the revival explodes, it works in connection yes. with the quality of the family. So while you're having a good time, having revival, blazing across the earth, there must be order in the home. My God of mercy. Come on, somebody. If you are the prophetess Deborah and your husband is a laborer, you still got to obey him. Oh, mercy. oh it's not going to work. I'm get in trouble somewhere. God said it. God said it. God said it. God said it. Glory to God. Order in the home. Order. Don't play with the order. It's the root of it. It's the root of it. All that in the home. Glory to God. Glory to God. Someone say ring the bell. Someone say ring the bell. Lift your hands everybody. To heaven. Every day, God speaks to vessels around the world to prophesy and prove him as God. But many times, those vessels are not the popular names of Christian ministry. For this reason, it becomes difficult to warn people of God's word without worldwide access. God said in his word that he would prove himself through prophecies and revelations, not only from the Bible, but also speaking through his servants. On HarvestArmy.org, prophecies and revelations are posted almost every day and are fulfilled in due time. It is our responsibility as Christians to listen for the voice of God. The Bible says not to be ignorant of the devil's devices and plans. We encourage you to check the updates on our Revelations page every day. The website is www.HarvestArmy.org. That's www.HarvestArmy.org. Don't make fulfillment of prophecy be a surprise to you.